Shut up and sit down. Checo's baby. Oh, I don't know anything about Checo's baby. Checo's baby. Yeah. Well, no, his wife had one. Like this could be. Like Can I? Yeah, let's go live. Okay. okay. Go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, welcome to intro. the Dirty Air. Are we yeah. doing a jingle? Well, no, I have like an intro on YouTube, so we can just play it. Fantastic. But anyway, you've, right. you've got copyrights, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Okay. Good. Anyway, welcome to the first episode of the Dirty Air with your host here, Fenton McGuinness, and I'm joined in the studio by the three idiots, uh, Evan Cairns, Luke McVeigh, and Josh Sherry. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, we've got a really terrible agenda sat against the computer here that we're not quite sure how to use. <laughs> you have to this tilt like it around a bit so everyone can see it. Yeah. All right, anyway. Uh, Karen Leveris. Yes. What's hot, what's not? Over to you, Evan. <laughs> I think Tauros have the nicest livery, but one thing that's really bugging me is they haven't gone with the red Honda badge on the nose. Right. So just it's like very obscure, it's very obscure, <laughs> but it's true. V-Tech down the side of her. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Have they actually changed it apart from the Honda badge? No. It's got a shit engine. They took yeah, Cespa off it because Cespa don't sponsor it anymore. Yeah. So they, they don't have the big red... But like they're going with the whole uh, Red Bull Cola thing all yeah. over again. Like it's they're, what, they're, one of, they're one of only, what, three teams now that we've seen that have actually put a winglet on the Halo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alpha Cyber. Yeah. yeah. Funnily enough... Oh, well, speaking of Alpha Cyber, you've got to look at the Ferrari. They've got a big clover leaf on the end of it. It's, it's lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's it's lovely. They've had that a the while, though. I love the way he's wearing the headphones. <laughs> it's a bit off. It is a bit off. Yeah. A bit off. Actually, another point of topic here. Josh Sherry has been the most active member in the F1 group in the past sixty days. Has he? He has. Yeah. Really? These are stats. You're only number two. Yeah. Oh, ah, jeez. Fuck you, Josh. Oh, well, I curse. Well, yeah, I like to curse. It's called we will bleep it out. It's fine. Gone, so. <laughs> yeah. well, we can bleep it out. It's an ow. Right. So, uh, Williams, Martini, fairly simple. Right. Oh, Paddy Law's been at work. Paddy Law's been at work, yeah. It's a nice, it's a horrible livery. Why though? It's, it's like it's, no. what do you call it? Fucking Martini. It's, yeah. it's very nice. Rally it's very nice no. until we go to Barry and Abu Dhabi and then it loses like the kind of red section and it's just blue. And it looks horrendous too when like a bit of dirt gets on it. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks really bad. It's down, it, it'll probably be down it the grade so it gets dirt. <laughs> oh. when, it, when it's literally in the dirty air. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ferrari actually what's the thoughts on the all red I like oh, the new orange fantastic. no it's red shade not orange <laughs> shit <laughs> no, it's not and the lack of white the lack of white is lovely but no, I wish it was a darker red with black front wings and black rear wing so basically you're just talking about the Sauber at this point no, no, you no, just no, want no, no, no. it's not 1980s yeah. the late 80s yeah. you're kind of hard yeah kind of, the early, early V12 feel like, it feels like a Michael Schumacher kind of sort of era car in the way it's sort of shit. stop clicking that pen <laughs> yeah, that's in the fucking podcast. <laughs> Show it in the corner. Uh, Merck, this isn't episode one, this is the pilot. Yeah, this is the pilot. <laughs> Merck, uh, why are you recording that here? So we have a rough idea of how long we're that's chatting, so chatting, shite. Uh, keep it up. Uh, <laughs> right, Red Bull's camo livery. It's fabulous. But it is it's quite fabulous. Like, it's, but they said they're going to keep that, like. Is that the actual livery? No, no, no they're going to change oh. the colours, but the actual, like, livery will stay. Get me. Oh, so they're actually going to keep camo. They're going to keep the camo, yeah. Oh, that'd be very cool. Yeah, because they, yeah, they have all uh, wasn't all the lads in the garage at the Silverstone. They were all wearing like the old colours, you know, like the yellow. And the, yes, but they had the, the race suits that the like Danny Ricardo was wearing in Silverstone was yeah. like a proper camo race suit. It was oh, lovely, was it? Yeah. but apparently Ricardo crashed. He did, yeah, he did. Yeah. But it was only minor damage. In, not really in Florida, I heard his floor and front wing, as far as I know. To be fair, though, like the floor on that, for, or Jesus Ferrari. The Red floor Bull. on that Red Bull, that's, thank you. Uh, it, it is like a bit complex. It's like Martin Brundle at Woodcut. Like, sort of, remember when he tested Force India? It was only a small tap. It's it an obscure like, reference. It sounds like it that. Is, yeah. <laughs> You're pushing them all the time. <laughs> Speaking of boats, Mercedes. <laughs> it's so long. Yeah. And it's, it's horrible. And delivery. Delivery. Getting terrible. back to delivery. No, the new delivery is alright. It's, it's no, so it's, German. They have it's no not, design. There's no oh, creativity. Oh, it's gone. just. <laughs> Mercedes livery has always been boring. But I like the kind of strikes of the teal they have running now instead of just a bland of it. It's, it, that? it's, it's getting nicer. And I like how they've left the halo black so everyone can see, yes, this is how ugly it is. Yeah, but I don't feel like halo designs, though, they have the nicest, the way it like falls back into mm. the bodywork. They, they have, have something they've, like the Williams. The Williams is a terrible halo. Yeah, but Williams is just terrible anyway. They oh, do. Leave what Williams happens. alone. Look, no, because <laughs> Dave Sorokin and, uh, what's his name, Stroll. 
Like, there's just two pair drivers. Yeah, they have like, two pair drivers. Ah, but, like, the fair notes, like, he did very well in GP2 against stuff of Andorra. For 20, 20 years. Third. What? He's been in GP2 half his life. But he's still, like, he's still only, what, 23? <laughs> every, <30. laughs> every time you look back, ooh, Sergei Strokin is in GP2. He's very erratic. Or is he called him Sergei Strokin. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, could, he has the potential to be another Maldonado. Who, Sorokin? No, he no, Sorokin's much better than Stroll. No, but like his, he could have a lot of crashes. I don't think so. No. He'd have known. That type of driver. Have you watched him in F2? Like? Yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah, he's this fantastic. year's car is a dog from him. Well, last year, sorry, is a dog from But the year before that, he was fantastic. Yeah. Like, Rapax is effectively F2 Honda. Yeah. And they're awful. Yeah. Much like actual Honda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think liveries now. What, what are liveries? What do we think of the Haas? Is nice. Haas is new ones. No, oh, boring. It's Haas. terrible. It's nice. a symphony. It page. was designed on. It was designed on word on, on art. Paint. Designed jet engine parts and paint. By a six-year-old using his thumb, just saying, yes, it was a red. You know. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of fucking red flag. Would be nice. Click there and fill. It's on the barge boat. Oops. <laughs> so it's a bit. I'd like something over the engine cover. Just. Even a little bit of stars and what about Alpha? Well, Sauber. Oh, it's beautiful. It from needs the back. more red. Oh, it's God, but nobody's ever going to be looking at the back of it. Like Not oh, until at least lap 13 Toro when they're being lapped. <laughs> and maybe Haas. Well, apparently, Toro Rosso had no engine issues. In their I heard it ran very. Yeah, 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 Brendan yeah, Hartley yeah. said it ran very smoothly. Yeah, <laughs> have Honda made a massive leap forward? He used to be Red Bull's junior driver. And then he left, went won Le Mans, and then came back to be their junior driver again. Yeah. It's it's a test. What is it? It's a test run for Red Bull. Oh, for twenty nineteen. Yeah. 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 Although I heard a theory today about um, that sign. Is like this is a theory. Just Ooh, made up theory. Shit. Red Bull Honda World Champions two thousand nineteen <laughs> to two thousand twenty one. No, they're saying that they might use signs as a bargaining chip to keep Renault engines. I love signs. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. The overtake in USA last year on Perez was it or Ocon? Perez round the outside. Which one? The big long right hander. What's it called? Oh, the one where Verstappen cut. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, oh, he did on the outside. Yeah. Oh, that's very Beautiful. Sexy, yeah. Yeah. I think it was on a. I think it was on a Toro Rosso. Or no, it was a Force. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> My memory's failing me. Okay, so I'm worried about how much noise is going to be in these recordings. To be honest. Yeah. You need to stop hitting things. Yeah. Uh, so, in one word, can we call out our favourite liveries? Ferrari. Look, for me, it's definitely the Renault. Renault. The Renault. 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 It's, it's like highlighter <laughs> yellow though. <laughs> God off. I, I just the yellow and black just works. It needs more yellow. It, it's more yellow. It needs to be more Jordan. <laughs> more yellow. Yeah. I'm glad we stuck to one word. I know. I'm probably going to have to go and say, if they keep it, Red Bull. Yeah. If they keep it. Who is the most boring? Williams. Haas. Mercedes. Yeah, and yeah, I'm a Mercedes, Mercedes fan. Mercedes, yeah. Okay, yeah. probably be a Mercedes. It hasn't yeah, developed. Like even Ferrari changed their slightly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I suppose on to the next point. Ferrari versus Merck. Or let's say Fry versus Merck versus Red Bull versus McLaren. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes, that 950 break is like, if that's a dyno figure. That's yeah, but Mercedes have 2 million horsepower. <laughs> Come like, engine. You're talking about them having 1200, that's absolute rubbish. No, it's not. Yeah. Merck, Merck are putting back peaks of 1200. But that's dyno. And what? The engine still does it, like. Yeah. yeah you know, but are yes, but horsepower like? figures aren't all that. We'll never hear the torque figures. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. It's got, got all the torque. <laughs> Six. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Penguins per <Mutants>. furlongs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like I'm interested to see what McLaren come out with tomorrow. Go and be what like that photo that of photo of being Mulder either or unloaded or loaded onto a lorry. It looks like I don't know, either are say lorry again off. for the fans. Lorry. Lorry <laughs> rhymes with lorry. <laughs> <laughs> Spot the vlogger. <laughs> that McLaren oh, could bro. be slurry. Unlikely. It could. It could, oh, it could very easily be slurry. I, I think it has a good chance though of beating the Red Bull. Yeah. Are we being over optimistic? But, like, but there's yes. a lot of people saying that Red Bull could potentially beat Ferrari. So if you're saying that, I think that is the Ferrari. Are you saying McLaren could be a challenger to Mercedes? Yes. No. No. I think. I think. I think well, they have the potential to win races this season. Yeah. They can win. Yes. No. No. Van Dorn, Plur- Van Did you Dorn just say plural? Van yes. Races. 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 The Fernando Alonso. Come on. I reckon Fernando Monaco, Alonso. Singapore, Hungary. Hungary. No, nah, not Hungary. Ferrari. Ferrari got a long wheelbase yeah. now though. No, yeah, j- not long just just longer it's, it's long. quite it's long quite when you look long. at the photos yeah okay. it, it, it's, it's like a it's like a a smaller boat than the Merck <laughs> I was going to use a word like, like a dinghy <laughs> like a dinghy or something <laughs> or a rowboat but like Mercedes is a full streamline and a cruise ship let's just hope it doesn't sink <laughs> bottoms out but the camera does add I'll never let go Lewis I can't wait to see that through the new chicane in Monaco it's 
and like it's the just, mark. Yeah, it's just gonna be like bloody bold. But that being said, Bottas in the car last year that was the same length, nearly put it on pole. Nearly didn't yeah. start the tractor. Did, okay, did agricultural references. Let's not. <laughs> yes, let's. <laughs> let's not. You're bloody. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let, let's get serious. Let's get serious about it. Yeah. Prediction. I genuinely think it's gonna. The season's gonna end. Mercedes five time, five times world championships in a row, uh-huh. same as Ferrari did in the early two thousands. Lewis Hamilton, a five time world champion. I think it'll be and a close five in a row. So won't be well, awesome. not for Lewis. Will you stop making chainsaw noises? It'd be well, five world championships for Lewis. No, no, I know even issue with it. But either way, this year I think we're gonna we're gonna crown a, a five time world champion, whether it be Vettel or whether it be Hamilton. I think it's gonna be Hamilton. But that being said. I think yeah, I think Mercedes is going to win, but I think Ferrari again are going to have the quickest car in Melbourne because it's more it's more of a Ferrari track. But that being said, again, it's a longer car, so I'm going to put it all out on the table now and say Fernando Alonso wins the Australian Grand Prix. Oh, bold oh, move, Cotton. Gosh, Let's see if it yes. works out. <laughs> what Van Dorn podium? No, no, <clears throat> Van Dorn's overrated. Overrated, and he's overweight. He's too fat for F1, like Nico Hulkenberg. No, Nico Hulkenberg's just big. Yeah, but the weighs though. Nah, it's he's like eighty-five is kilo. So Huge. He's not as good as ever makes to be. Oh god, no, he's consistent. Like he's, yeah. consi- he's like he's the next generation he's Mark Webber. Even... Oh, I can't talk, start talking about you or He won twenty. 20- no, no. <laughs> but we have <laughs> weight quotas <laughs> coming in. Yeah, yeah. Minimum weight. Eighty kilos. Yeah, but he still goes over that weight. Still goes over it. Does not. He's, he's, 85. he's eighty-five. He's like six foot one. Yeah, he's huge. Like he's, terrible, he's a big boy. Oh, I can't he's see. He's like. six foot one, but he's definitely not eighty kilos. No, it's not a pick it's on not him. Not eighteen. <laughs> 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 but um, in the in the new engine era, mm. Mercedes have won eighty percent of the races. Will they continue with that ratio? No, this no. year. No, I don't see it. That's there's conclusive. Like, there's too much convergence happening right now. Like Renault are even if closing up. They, even if they aren't there, they're going to be so much closer. And with that Red Bull chassis. And the McLaren chassis, they are going to win a few races. How are McLaren going to work with incorporating a completely new engine into their chassis? Well, the fact that they're not unveiling the car officially until testing. It's just they're working hard. They're working hard. Well, but the car's finished. Yeah, they have a shakedown in Nevada, so I suppose they don't know. We could see photos tomorrow morning. Of it broken down. At the side well, of we've seen a little bit under the sheet. It's very orange. It's beautiful. It's very do you, orange. Do you find it very... Like, do, you see, you know, do you watch the thing on Amazon Prime about McLaren? Yes, Alonso pulls in and says, this is shit, it's undrivable. Yeah, and then did you see the video they released about the car? <laughs> 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 yes, the viewers can. Yes. Or the listeners can. <laughs> the listeners, Luke, the listeners is Luke is shaking a stick at him. Yeah. <laughs> stick being a phone. Yeah. <laughs> But He's you know, no, hit me quick. Hit there, me with like, your the, the, the <laughs> Okay, what are you saying, Gwal? No, I was saying there's a bit of a What kind of wallpaper do you have in your phone? Again, listeners, it's a cheetah. It's not a cheetah, it's a lion. We're going to have to put, like, the camera A cheetah. A cheetah. A cheetah. Josh missed that day at primary school. <laughs> Tangent <laughs> number one. And here we see the local Josh not knowing anything about wildlife. <laughs> That was even a terrible day of that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, back to I mean, as bullying goes, that's pathetic. Yeah. yeah but we're you should be ashamed of yourself. No, I'm not. Okay. We're pathetic people. See, this yeah, mic this mic says presenter. One. You're just guest two. You're not even guest one in this studio. At least I'm a guest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we're over for Cindy Williams. Who's going forward? Who's going back? Who's staying? Oh, well, Renault's going back. forward. Renault's going Renault forward. are going, going forward. forward. But are they going to go ahead of Force India? Yeah. Stop hitting the desk! <laughs> so much excess yeah. noise. Um, yes, well, yeah, yes, yes. There's a force in they cannot keep keep up their pace with their they current had a budget. They're spectacular year last year for what they have. Yeah, mm-hmm. they can't replicate that. Have you seen their factory? It's literally in Silverstone. It's tiny. It's like a shed in comparison to the end. It's Endstone. the old Jordan factory. It is the old yeah, Jordan factory. Yeah. Idea of an F1 factory. Yeah. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> Stop so, with Eddie Jordan bashing. I love Eddie. I love Eddie. Possibly. And we're talking about uh, Renault. <laughs> about dodgy money. The guys are kings of dodgy money. Care to fill us in? Oh, Flavio. Flavio. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, hold on. Um, Nelson, crash now. <laughs> crash now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're only about like, factory Renault like, in Paris. What's it like, what? Like, no, 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 just Flavio. Just, oh, okay. just, every, yeah. just everything's because Flavio. Has anyone actually seen a photo of Flavio wearing the Speedo? I, I think model. everybody has seen that yeah. picture. Yeah. It's incredible. Is he banned for life or what's the story with him? No, he's still Alonso's agent. Is he? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. And somebody else's as well. I can't remember who. There was someone else. Yeah. He's in. Yeah, Williams. Yeah. Are they going to... They're they going forward. Him. They're going forward. Yeah, they made oh, big strides. Paddy Lowe. 
It's funny, like they, they came out with the bad cape as well. Yeah, we know where that came from. We know exactly where it came from. But the fact is, like it had to have been in in the works. It was like a, a fundamental yeah. component of yeah. the Carrot Williams. Look, with Mercedes power, they'll always pick up points. There's no way you cannot pick up points. <laughs> I'm sorry, but are, the way you're wearing those headphones. But the Mercedes. It, but the Mercedes, the Mercedes difference, like engine power wise, it's gonna reduce every season. It is, yeah. So like, yeah. 2014, Williams is the second best car, but probably one of the worst chassis on the grid. Should they knock out front row in Austria? Was in Austria, yeah, but that's because Hamilton and Rosberg effed up. <laughs> they both, they both effed up yeah. ever so slightly. Yeah, and in the race. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Well, well, no, they finished one too. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, I think in 2016. Was it? No, 2015 they crashed. Well, yeah, on the last lap, remember? Out. But still, no, yeah. 2016, but they still got one too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so despite Mercedes fucking up every year at Austria, they've still had one twos. <laughs> no, they didn't get one two that year. 2016. Oh, no, they didn't. Rosberg, Rosberg finished four fourth. Yeah. Was yeah. Around with, like, the we turned in on Hamilton, like, left track. him. Oh, no. Um, he was on the inside. No, Hamilton turned him on the outside. Hamilton left him five cart with. Josh, why is the stars of the. I'm not looking at memes. I'm looking at the statistics and facts. Oh, God. And the next one I have. We have like a weekly stat from Josh. Yeah, absolutely. Lewis Hamilton is on a run of 25 consecutive races in the points. He's too short of Kimi Raikkonen's record. There you go. Kimi Raikkonen has the current record of 27 consecutive points run. He'll break it this year. Is somebody not. I mean, well, that's a bold statement. Is someone not currently on that. Pardon? Is somebody not like on a higher run now? No, you're thinking of Ocon. Well, according to Sky Sports F1. Uh, no. <laughs> Can huh? you reference? Can I reference what? What you just said. That uh, someone else is currently on a higher run. The Ocon was on a no. very long no, run. Like, yeah, but sure, there, it was. That's Sorry, crashed? no, oh. correction. It's Red Bull. Red Bull are in a 29 race streak of finishes in the points. But it's only one car yeah, at a time. Yeah, we'll yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. That's, that's, very, that's very good. Yeah. Uh, Surprisingly, it's considering their have. historic average of exploding every now and again. Yeah. And the alternators in 2012, oh, yeah. giving me hope and then to be pulled mm-hmm. away from me. They were great years. Cruelly torn away. Has Cyber Tara Rosso. Who's going to be the worst of the worst? Who's picking up the wooden spoon? Oh, Tara Rosso. Stop with the bone. I'm going to say Cyber. Yeah, I'm going to say Cyber. Gonna the, fact, really? the fact they've cut like a thousand holes into their chassis to get cooling in says they have a fundamental issue inside that car. What, have you seen the Renault side pods? Yeah. They're huge. A uh, big engine. <laughs> yeah, but if you look you know, at... Uh, Mac- cooling method. If you look at McLaren and Red Bull, though, they've got very small side pods. Mm. And it? Ferrari. Yeah. Tiny. For centre of gravity, could it be possible to remove the central air intake and just make your side pods a little bit bigger? Well, the air intake's incorporated into the roll hoop, so you'd still have to put a roll hoop there. I see, you might as well yeah. put it there. Yeah. Ah, fair enough. It would, it would otherwise be very similar to IndyCar. Shit. Oh, don't start that. Don't start that. This is an D- F1 I, d- Why have I done this? The their screen, idea of the aero screen, like... their idea of the aero screen is so much better than the Halo. It incorporates sure, lovely. Halo's an upper scaffold, it? mm, It's lovely. It's lovely. Lovely. Okay, anyway. I actually... <laughs> I may have said I agree Sauber are going to be last I don't I think Sauber are going to be third last and I so think you've just, you've just, I agree with your I've gone back it's just on what switch. I said yeah absolutely yeah, yeah, because absolutely. this will happen a lot throughout the course of the season folks the entire arse of the Sauber is Ferrari the engine oh, is 2018 Ferrari the gearbox is 2018 Ferrari and the rear suspension is 2017 Ferrari I believe or it might be uh, yeah it's 2017 Ferrari I think and their dr- the second driver is also is Charles Leclerc. <laughs> it's also Ferrari. It's oh, also Ferrari. His first driver. <laughs> I love Charles Leclerc. He's brilliant. Dollar bills, honey. Dollar bills. Dollar bills yeah. But Charles Leclerc's from Monaco. He's not. He doesn't come from Monaco. a poor background. Like just presuming. Ah, oh, but he's a fantastic driver. Like he definitely. Oh, he's brilliant. He is very good. Yeah. Like when we saw him, when we saw him in Spa, Spa yeah. out qualifying the pack by one and a half seconds in the rain, and then he got disqualified. The next day, for apparently running the floor was, a bit it was low. In the shorter race, he like cut through the fields and he didn't even. He came from last place to finish fifth in a sprint race. Yeah, yeah it was quite impressive. Amazing, right? It was very impressive. He, he overtook someone around the outside of Hulman, I think. It was ridiculous. Like. He, he did a few doubles last season as well, didn't he? To go from the back to the front or to win reverse pole and I think so. As well. yeah. but the, the one, the one point we're overlooking now about Leclerc is Bahrain. Yeah, a Bahrain. pit stop in a sprint race and then overtaking twelve cars to oh. win. Yeah, that was impressive. A thing of beauty. It was a thing of beauty. The chicane in Abu Dhabi in the last race was fantastic. How he chased out. Oh yeah, yeah but he hit he hit Albon in and the hairpin Albon. beforehand. Robin is racing. Robin is racing. Yeah, do you but watch the <laughs> I do. I do. I don't. <laughs> Can so we see Charles Leclerc picking up points? 
Yes. Mm, yeah. It's going to be similar to how Bianchi picked up points. It's going no. To, yes. No. Yeah. I, I, no, I don't see that Cyber having the potential to fight for top 10 other than it. But you think it's corner like heavy Austria, tracks. like what Furline did? Yeah, but the manner looked slippy. That Cyber just looks like fucking Swiss cheese going through your lines like <laughs> well look we'll take a Bianchi style points finish over a Max Chilton style points finish any day Max Chilton never Chilton's finished the points never, oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> where's so the he, other Marussia driver that picked up points he led Indy 500 for a few laps though uh, what do you call him young fella the young fella <laughs> Verlein yeah, Indonesian book he's German yeah oh, Verlein got points so in Austria I was thinking of Harry Anto. Yes. no yes. Harry <laughs> didn't score and it wasn't just one it was I think he finished 8th what's our opinion on Verlein being dropped good terrible I think he's Berlin's good. Fantastic I don't he's think not fantastic. He's, he's not brilliant. He's not brilliant. He's not brilliant. He's he's DTM like nineteen or something. Um, yeah, but that's who, has, who do you know races in DTM? He'll, he'll, he'll be back. Timo Glock. Timo Glock. <laughs> <laughs> that Glock. Ten years he's ago, he retired from F1, and you're still talking about him. He's a good driver. Toyota. Actually, no, it's been five years, isn't it? Huh? Since Clock retired. Yeah, was 2009 his last season? No, no, he drove for Virgin no. in like 2013. Didn't oh, he did. He drove for. The, the, the infamous version that didn't have a fuel tank big enough to finish a race yeah but still despite that they weren't as bad as HRT they were quite quick but for for the you know 80% of the race that's because yeah. they had less fuel they were quicker yeah. they, they were, were lighter they were quicker than the Lotus not Lotus Grip, was it Grip Lotus or Team Lotus no, yeah. no 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 no, 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 no it was that was two seasons that was later that was Cobby Ash did the crowdfunding oh, it was the yeah. Green Lotus yeah. and then the Green Lotus became Caterham and then Renault became Black Lotus yeah mm. this is very confusing it was, it was just kids with toys they just yeah. yeah you stole my livery so yeah. well, I think it back Black Lotus was actually actual Lotus which used to be Green Lotus as far as I'm aware you mean like Colin Chapman Colin Chapman Lotus yeah, yeah. yeah. and then Senna Black Lotus yeah mm-hmm. but that was just because of JPS so, so Lotus Kate and Renault have gone full circle yeah pretty much and now Renault is Renault yeah. again even though it used to be Lotus yeah mm. wow and but was Kate from based in Enstone what I, what I think is or was Lotus that became Kate, was Lotus that became Kate from based in Enstone no. Yes. No. 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 Based K- in another place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, no, you, you, there's actually videos. No, of, Lotus that became Renault are in Enstone. And Viri. And Viri Chateau. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Is Enstone? Enstone's MK not. Dons. No. no. That's oh. Red Bull. Red Bull or Milton Keynes. But Milton Keynes. Okay. I th- yeah. I, th- I thought the Lotus was. I thought the Caterham was in Milton Keynes. No, no. Okay, I but I just know that factory is abandoned. You can see videos stops. of YouTube of, of you parkour guys going in, jumping around the factory. It's yeah, quite I creepy. That. I imagine that was going on while they were designing the cars in Caterham. <laughs> 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 Interestingly, if you look at, you remember the Caterham nose with like just the central pillar. Oh wait, it just went down. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at that nose cone, it is the exact same as the nose cone used to in two thousand and twelve. <laughs> They stole it from you. There's from intellectual us. copyrights There's, going on here. I mean, breaches of all sorts. I mean, they just they they looked at their own nose cone and said, "This this is terrible. We can't use this." Got a hacksaw out. <laughs> Seen yeah. photos from the Facebook page and were like, "That's what we're speaking, doing." Speaking you cannot say that on this podcast. That <laughs> bit's getting edited out. Speaking of speaking of, I just edited out the name and then I'm just like, <laughs> the, the rest of it. Speaking of speaking of hacksaws, did anyone see um, Hacksaw Ridge? Great film. No, not hacksaws. Did anyone see? Um, <laughs> it's a bit soppy at the start. Toto Wolf's comment earlier about the Halo. Chainsaw to take it. a chainsaw to it. I thought it was a hacksaw. Take no, a chainsaw, chainsaw to, to it. it yeah. He said, "Like this is a this is like a team principle of pr- the world champions. Let's take a chainsaw to the halo." Yeah, well, oh, you can't blame him. Like, they don't mince their words. He used to be a race driver <clears throat> in oh, touring car. He drove cars in, in races. I it's wouldn't say cr- he was necessarily a racing driver. It's Christian Wolf. I only found out recently. <laughs> he's a big guy. Who? Toto. Toto. He's the same height as me. No, he's not. He is. He's That's only a meter eighty-three. You look at my television. He's a beautiful man. Yeah, but think though, right? He's standing he stand beside Martin Brundle. <laughs> he is gorgeous. He's standing beside Martin Brundle, who's barely up to my elbow. I don't like, remember racing drivers are very small. Your perspective of scale is skewed, like, but like, like I, I, I met Toto in person, like he's not that tall. But he looks massive. On he television. looks massive. Yeah, he looks all right. And he's got a great voice. I'll be voice. back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Toto, for four world championships and three for Lewis. Should be Total Wolf, I'm not impressed with the whole thing, and if you give me a chainsaw, I'd take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Direct quote from ESPN. I know how we're like going up and down this agenda, left, right, yes, and so Actually, But I don't think we finished it on the Ferrari, Ferrari Merc. <laughs> oh, we didn't finish the liveries uh, either. But Mercedes no, no. For constructors Ferrari for drivers. No. Or for Vettel for drivers. Mercedes yeah, for both. Ludicrous. Actually, yeah, no, he, he makes a good point. Like, Bottas is much more reliable than Reikin. He is. And he'll pull points from Lewis. A season from, like, Somewhere. Mercedes Mercedes need to stop their like, bullshit of allowing their drivers race. Like 
at the beginning of the season last year, Raikkonen was pulling over for Vettel left, right, and center. Bottas yeah. did a yeah, handful of things. That's what Ferrari do. Yeah, they've yeah, done, like done it for Ferrari years. But that's how you win championships. Bottas thinks he's going to win. That's how Eddie Irvine lost the championship. Oh, yeah, at the beginning of the season when he left. When he left, Schumann. 19. two points? Stop fucking with your. That's even worse. It's your phone. It's on the floor now. You wouldn't have got that total off. No. So, yeah, we basically had it. We had it. Yeah. So, so, Eddie Irvine lost out to Hackenden in the championship by like, I don't know what it was. Points. It was a handful of points. But earlier in the season, he'd You're obviously... a few fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> earlier in the season, he'd obviously... He'd obviously given away to Schumacher a few times. Mm-hmm. He'd given away to Schumacher a few times and... Um, could have had an Irish world champion. We could, we could have, have had an Irish world champion. That would have been yeah. fantastic. It would have been brilliant. Mm. Or, um, what's his name? Tommy Gordon. If, if you're fond of karting, guys, Eddie Irvine has a karting track in Newry. He does, yeah. And it's quite terrible. Is it? <laughs> it <laughs> it's is. It's, it's it. quite terrible. See, the thing is, people are just going to go to it because it's Eddie Irvine. So. Absolutely. But it's, uh, yeah, it's abysmal. But, like, I love Eddie, but he really, like, Hackenham was thrown that away. He had it up on a platter for him. Like Hackman was fucking up that season terribly. But yeah, but he was in the McLaren side. Did Irvine have any mechanical It's very yeah, difficult to do bad. It is. Huh? Like, did Irvine have any mechanical failures after Schumacher's crash in Silverstone? But this is two years after I was born, so I don't really remember very well. You were well. born in 97? Six. So 99 is two years after oh, three years. It's three years. My bad. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> I thought, I thought, are you going to blame your maths or F one knowledge on this one? I, I thought it was the ninety eight World Championships. I'm going to blame my F one knowledge, but I don't like blaming my F one knowledge because I think I have a good F one knowledge. Oh, you just said that. Now. Yeah, the incriminating evidence is there. Yeah, it is there. Anyway, questions on a post. Sorokin and Kubica. Yeah, well, Kubica is over the hill and far away. No. Kubica's wrist is yeah, but Kubica brings publicity and glitz, and he, like the car was never going to do anything spectacular anyway, so it didn't really matter who was driving it. I mean, at least with Kubica, you bring fans; they sell some merchandise. I bought a T-shirt. You know, they, they, they're, they're funding their season through their merch. He could have been, but nah. Sor- Sorokin's guaranteed. Not, though you see what Kubica is like, we could bring in twenty million in merch. Sorokin's here's thirty. <laughs> so Sounds fella, about right. The desk. <laughs> Sorry, but that was for yeah, added. That was for that was for added drama. We'll have to do that bit again. Do that bit again without hitting the desk. <laughs> so, Cubis is like, I could make twenty million here through um, merch sales. Where Sorokin comes along, here's a thirty million check. <laughs> 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 I didn't hit the table. I was Finton. <laughs> I was doing like the total impression. It's very warm. Oh yeah, it is very warm. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't open the side no. door. <laughs> it's not that warm, idiot. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> not affected that badly. Lose the belly, you'd be grand. <sighs> I've been trying. Damn. I've been eating pizza and stuff. <laughs> it's it's not help, working. It? <laughs> Healthy pizza. Healthy pizza. <laughs> Healthy pizza. That's much better. So, yeah. who would? Let's let's put a twist on this. Remove straw from the fray, and have it as Sorokin versus Cupita. Who would win? Sorokin. Easily. Kubica. I think Sorokin. Kubica doesn't have... I, I think his wrist is too bad. I don't think he could go the distance. Yeah. What do you mean you can't do it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Kubica wasn't very test. good. People think Kubica was great. Kubica wasn't very good when he was in F1 the first time. That BMW was very good. That BMW was... Like, put, that, that BMW well, hang on. He, 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 was fantastic. Like. Uh, but yeah. Juan Pablo Montoya is one of the best racing drivers to ever grace the planet. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's like Timo Glock. He was very Montoya. good for one lap. Do, do you remember when Montoya got like roasted at that interview in Melbourne a few years back by the two Australian comedians? No, posing oh, as journalists. Walked out, he walked out. Oh yes, yes. he's like, what, what did they say? What, what, what was it they said? He goes, "Have you my golf clubs, mate?" <laughs> he goes, "Juan, what was it?" They're asking questions like, "Juan, does the rise in Formula Juan Juan?" Does Juan wonder would Juan win more Formula One championships? Juan, <laughs> some along those lines, and he was like, "This doesn't. This stops where I leave." <laughs> and he left. Did. He left. Yeah. Try change. Uh, if he passed the cake, like he would have been a great driver. Like. But now he's driving. But, but you're, you, Evan, you were saying Kubica wouldn't be able to go the distance because of his wrist. But That's ju- in, like in, in Hungary, it, he was able to do it. Yeah, so in testing, in testing, in testing, he did a hundred and forty laps. That's a yeah. in were one they, session. One hundred and forty fast laps. 50, 60, like. Well, it was quicker than what Stroll had set the day before. Or, and was it Massa? Did Massa also set a time? I no, think Massa was, was sick. The only reason Stroll is it's getting any way no flack is because of the dodgiest podium going in Baku. Because he wasn't bad. He, he was the second half of the season, he Stroll improved. Was all right. He improved, yeah. He was very he good He doesn't deserve a seat. He doesn't deserve a seat. There's at least... But he's got fat checks. Who would you replace him with? Berlin. No. 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 
would play some furlong or uh, oh, give me it. Kobayashi. <laughs> Kobayashi. <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> Kobayashi is currently driving in Japanese Super Formula. I won't yeah, What, what is that? Weekend, is, is it like the, the Formula Shane of Japan? <laughs> no, no, it's no, a lock. Like it's like V8 3.5. Yeah, it's like between GP2 and F1. You have like some oh, flexibility no. to play. Just Stoffel went over there and did a good job. And yeah. Gasly. Gasly, yeah. Gasly got oh, Gasly did fantastic. But he got screwed over. Tree just missed out on the championship. Yeah, because yeah. he had to race in F1. And they, see, they moved it because like something to do with like the series organisers wanted the Japanese guy to And win they cancelled the last race. Cancelled the last race. Cancelled the win anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it should be done. Flexible on their like, realistically, FIA should have cancelled the Formula World Championship after... After uh, Spa, so Vettel was world champion. Why? Because it's the Ferrari International Autosport FIA. Yeah. It's supposed to be assistance, not joke. But all right, yeah, but you, you, it's the FIA. Yeah. I phrased it wrong. You, you did. did. You did. Damn it. And there was a big build up and everything. Like we all paused. We did, yeah, for dramatic effect. I, <laughs> I felt a lot of pressure with the silence. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of silence. Okay, well, Simon and Garfunkel. I should find up there. See what. what is Someone posted in the F1 corner. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Is it Greek? Maybe not. Well, okay. It's a very entertaining. Let's, let's get Checo's baby. Let's that's a bit of side talk. The they they, they do yeah. say it's the making or breaking of a man. Yes. They do say that. They do, yeah. And like, if you look at the likes of say Michael Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen, Mika Hakkinen, they all had kids. They all did fantastically well. Vettel. Yeah. That's very like, quiet about it. Hmm. Is, does, I heard something about Vettel like that he supposedly has like kids with three. two or three different women like. no Vettel's been going out with the same girl since he was like 13 doesn't oh, matter really? it doesn't yeah. mean he doesn't have kids with two, three different women <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> like, you're, you're the only person I've ever heard say that though to be fair I heard it on the internet somewhere <laughs> you heard it on the internet yeah, most through, a, through another podcast automotor <laughs> unsport <laughs> <laughs> through another podcast quite similar to ours where you know facts and no professionalism <laughs> to dot <laughs> Big news. <laughs> it's a hot topic. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean the other newbies? Who are the other newbies? Charles Leclerc was in there. Charles yeah. Leclerc. Yeah. It's Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc. Yeah. Obviously, we're, we're going to have David Gunn. Leclerc. Leclerc. And Uber sounds like it's Leclerc. Well, it's more of a Leclerc. Leclerc. <clears throat> Actually, can I put a question out? What do we all think of Paul Ricard? Terrible. For this year. Yeah. It's too it's, much run off. It it's like, like a poor man's Monza. Mm. And they've even, yeah. they put the chicane in the middle of the straight. Like, yeah. it looks that, so bad. Right hander would be fantastic. If like, they tried. They just put it on the calendar as like Castellet and just pretend it. Oh, this is a new track, lads. It's not going to be the <laughs> shittest one that everybody's living memory. You, it's like it's probably worse than Manicur was for processional racing. <laughs> yes, like, Manicur was a great qualifying lap track. It was. It was a great absolutely. Qualifying. The chicanes are, as Lonzo said, the chickens. The chickens. <laughs> the first chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever see that video? No, yeah. fantastic. You have to because go watch that. Pass into the first chicken, but anyway, Potter card. But, <laughs> but <laughs> continue. <Yeah>. Yes. <clears throat> Whenever I've seen footage of it recently or on photos, no part of the track is distinguishable. It all looks the same. Yeah. Ever looks the same. It's a bit like Russia. Or Singapore. What they did with Singapore then is they painted each sector a different colour. Can we do that in like Paul Ricard, like have the runoff in Sector 3, well, I think red. In Paul Ricard, they don't have gravel traps. They have like it's different abrasive surfaces and they're coloured in like sandpaper. Oh, it's similar to what they have in Abu Dhabi. In no, Abu Dhabi is just all the same, just painted. Yeah. But no, they have like it's like. <laughs> you know, no, 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 but as in they have the abrasive surface. I love the traction. This conversation there. Go on, continue, John. <laughs> Go on. Well, you just don't listen to, to Luke anymore. No, I never really listen to him to begin with. I'm in the corner now. <laughs> but as far as I know from my simulation racing days, that w- when you go off the track, there's. Playing Formula 1 on the Xbox there this morning. <laughs> Yeah, it's scientific two laps as of Abby Dabby. Yeah. It's as scientific as his internet source. <laughs> 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 Italians for that. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, will France last? Will this be the one and only year of the, the we French need, Grand Prix? We need a French back? Grand Prix. Is it a French Grand Prix or is it the European French, Grand Prix? French, 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 French Grand Prix. So where's have, the European Grand Prix? We don't Grand have one this year. Like, I mean, <laughs> so it is technically practically the Azerbaijani European. Grand Prix. The French will eventually Here we go. We're no longer hosting a Grand Prix. <laughs> 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 But no, I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> so like is anyone is Fair anybody enough. other than our mother is going to listen to this podcast, realistically? I don't know. We're like, did you watch the podcast? Did you watch the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Or listen to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dastardly and muttly over I here. I can I watch a podcast and I can taste sound. <laughs> 
How long have we been going on for now, actually? <laughs> I don't know. Not that long. 40 minutes, yeah. 40 minutes. Calm yourself down, young fella. It's a pilot, guys, okay? It's a pilot. Yeah. It's a pilot. Ah, that's just testing the water. I mean, yeah. I think it's going reasonably okay. It is. Yeah. We're lacking interesting content, but apart from but that, like, it's because the season doesn't start yet. Like we've got nothing to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Next week we'll have a lot to talk about. Oh, oh actually, just fantastic. something interesting. I was chatting to you about earlier the side pods and the and the red ball on the red ball. Yeah, you know the way like coming in, they kind of like curve back in under like, onto the floor while Josh randomly searches it here. Need images. Red Bull RB14. Just type in RB14 in Google. No, I'm, on, I'm on the F1 chat. I'm on your your page. It's not on my it's not on there. Oh, there will be one if you go down far enough. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> go <throw>. deeper. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Been, you, can't. Put up, you, you put up two pictures, two of the exact same pictures, apart from this right. one is the super they'll soft. Do, they'll do. They'll do. <laughs> they'll do. Yeah, they'll do. Fire it up there, right? Oh, so, what's the hyper soft gonna be like actually? Softer than the ultra soft. Oh, uh, they'll be, be hyper soft. The, the, the non plus ultra soft. Yeah. Yeah. How many laps are going to be able to do? I just know there's Latin scholars out there just crying at like, the naming of the tyres this year. Anyway, <laughs> what do you tell me? What can you tell me is Some strange with that side pod? Child. How um, relevant is this for listeners? Like, look at this. <laughs> no, but oh, like, <laughs> you I mean, like, put up on you're definitely screen, asking like, the wrong fellow on this. What we're looking at. It, no. it curls out yeah, rather than curling in. Much. It curls out rather than curls in, yeah. It flares out when it. We see where it meets the floor. Yes. So, okay, so on the, the RB14. It mm-hmm. It's not. See the way they usually curve in under when you come into the Coke bottle? Yes. Well, it flares out now when it touches the floor. And I think oh. what, what Red Bull are doing. Oh! Is, oh! What they're actually doing is using their side pod as another part of the barge board rather than exclusively as a side pod. And what are the advantages of this, Finton Aero McGuinness? I sure I don't know. That's, that's, I'm really hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think that's the only reason. It's a rural it. fellow we've pulled from a farm in Donegal who's going to t- teach us about aero. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've worked for more FIA level motorsport competitions than you have. Yeah, I'm not an aero. One. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's two. Sorry. DTM and WRC. So, WRC. fantastic. The pinnacle of innovation. <clears throat> it is. So we, does that mean we bring in? You can do. Like, why, why do you keep name dropping people on this show? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> mommy. You're making you're making you're making his um, editing very difficult. Oh, you are making my editing. Difficult. I feel yeah. like this will be reshot anyway. Reshot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, do, do you people like grasp the concept of what's going on in this room? <laughs> <laughs> We're not even talking about anything. Am right I now. not allowed to mention? Sh- <laughs> no, it's uh, <laughs> controversial. <laughs> See, um, usually I'd answer that, but now because I know it's recorded, I'm not going to answer. You it. know, it's going to be in the World Wide Web very shortly. Like, yeah. <clears throat> So uh, pre-season predictions. Yeah. Any other interesting pre-season predictions? Uh, <laughs> um, Rivet in conversation, gentlemen. What will be the weakest engine? Honda. Uh, no, no, like reliability-wise. Yeah. Honda. Honda. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the most undrivable engine? But, but Honda. The quote from Honda was they're focusing very strongly on reliability this yeah, year. Sure everyone <laughs> As opposed to every other year. <laughs> so the problem with Honda is they're aiming for third in the championship with Toro Rosso. I laughed at that. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, it's the name of every team to finish first. first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're gonna get, we're gonna get Honda engines because we want to finish third. <laughs> Dedication thing. I don't know. I see Haas pulling out of Formula One, but before the new regs. Yeah. But they're only one year ahead of. They're only one year behind getting proper funding. No, because Sauber have taken over their kind of position now as the Ferrari junior team. Ferrari, yeah. Yes, yes, but they'll get actual oh, funding. As in, at yeah. the minute, they're only getting something like 36 million. Uh, What's well, that all? <laughs> that's all they're getting. Mercedes, 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 Mercedes. They're, they're about something. Yeah, they're they're about 80 million off off the next team. No, which they is, don't qualify. For, isn't there like a thing after? Yeah, three you have years, to be three years, years, and now yeah. they get it. They get the TV rights money. So it's just it's basically just to stop HRT and Tony Fernandez coming in and setting up a bullshit team for two million. Uh, you, you know, <laughs> quit. Here you go. It's basically an F2 car. It costs me 200 grand, and there's Yarno Trulli. Like, the way you go. The, do you remember? Do you remember in 20, what year was it? 2014, when the slowest F1 car was slower than the fastest Formula 2 well, GP2 car. Yeah, it was the first year of the Turbos. That's pathetic. The Caterham. Yeah, the Caterham. Oh, yeah. yeah, Caterham <clears throat> did a season in the Turbo era, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. But did the big diddle on the nose of the car. Yeah. Andre Lotter. Sex aid. Andre Lotter was, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, in Spa. Spa. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, Jesus. Le Mans legend. But sure, who was the guy who raced in Spa for Ferrari, the test driver? Luca uh, Bado, or? Yeah, but... On Valencia. He had to be slower oh. than an F2 driver. In Valencia, oh, he was in Valencia, he finished last by 30-something seconds, and then he crashed into, was it... Perez's car or Hulkenberg's car in the pit lane after the race he crashed into a car in the pit lane and yeah. in fairness Fisichella didn't do a huge amount better when he came in Fisichella was better in the Force India that year than he was in the Ferrari in the Ferrari he was diabolical was the Force India a better car 
probably. I think it was just West India was very good, but, but it wasn't it Monza and Spa. They were fantastic. Monza and Spa, they were fantastic. So he, he put it on pole, but, and then he well, nearly beat Raikkonen. But the problem was, they put it on pole with three laps of fuel, and they actually could have put about seven or eight laps of fuel in. But they had they had margins. Yeah, yes, but they still challenged. Like despite the margins, they still challenged Ferrari for the whole race. It's just Raikkonen is very good around Spa, or he was is. very good. Around a- Spa. Apart from that time, he got lost in the Lotus. No, that was, no, that was Brazil. Brazil. Oh, what? <laughs> you can see how you got confused. Because like. he said, Kimi said, I went in there and the track walk and the gate was open, so I drove in there and then the gate wasn't open in the race. It's more than he usually says. Yeah, it's, 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 if actually, if you watch his like, post season interview when he won the World Championship back in 08, I was no. watching it there before he came in. He's, like, he's quite talky. <coughs> was he? Yeah, he was quite happy. He had lots to talk he about. To have been. Yeah. It's all over. Hamilton 7. Hamilton 7. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so it does. Uh, that was a I don't know. I still see Haas falling before the new regs. Yeah. Actually, I, I new guess. engines. He's looking forward to them or not? Yes. What What is there to look forward to? They're going to be it's simpler. Of they're, they're, yeah, they're just especially the old Cares engine. But again, yeah. So there's nothing to look forward. To. There's I nothing just, exciting. I liked how like it was almost like you pressed the button and you got a boost and you could like tactically either defend. That's or save what it's doing now. That's it's also bringing really in. Well, going, look, I like going boost. back to the old regs, but with the new engine. How long before we have right. fan boost? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> right. Fan boost. You love Formula E, Luke. I don't love you? Formula E, but I don't like fan boost. Fan I boost love fan terrible. boost. It's brilliant. For me, the racing is quite good. If yeah, you're looking for good racing, you'll watch NASCAR or IndyCar. Don't watch Formula E. IndyCar is pretty good. NASCAR. NASCAR is great. So so. It's fantastic racing. You saw the highlights of Daytona. Yeah, it was fairly epic. Brilliant. Yeah. But uh, back to the engines. Um, yeah. What is what's the main positive points? Plug and play. Higher RPM. Higher RPM is good. It's but it's just noise. I mean, the higher RPM is is going to be irrelevant in a few years. Yeah, but what's this power. podcast going to be? Torque is little, RPM little or more. It's it little or more. Three thousand. It's got three thousand more RPM. It's just for you noise. spin around there three thousand times a second in a second. No, it's per RPM, minute. No, per minute. M per minute. Is that, yeah. So it's yeah. <laughs> so five five. <laughs> I'm not an engine guy. All right, I just do the aerodynamics. Fifty times per second. That's not much. <laughs> you, could you do it? Could you do it? I'd like to see you do no, it. No, the, the G-Force would kill me. I like G-Force. Right. Glad we got it all out in the air. You've always been off to, but Who's going to be good for the new engine rigs? Uh, I can see Mercedes oh, oh. folding. Consumer it. teams. Consumer as well, yeah. yeah. Any, all the consumer teams will do well hmm. with the new engines. It's bad for Mercedes. It's bad for Ferrari. It's yeah. great for Honda. Gives them a chance to fuck up a second engine. <laughs> I hope Liberty are strong with uh, Ferrari now and don't let them boss them around. Um, I can understand them still getting slightly more pay though, because in all fairness to them, they have stuck out all sixty-eight seasons of Formula One. Mm-hmm. They're the one team that's done it. Yeah, yeah. So they they even raced the blue car as, once upon a time. Not as much as they do get though. Yeah, they did have a blue car actually. They did, yeah. Nineteen sixty-seven. Oh, but in the late sixties, the blue Ferraris, it was all the rage. They're just beautiful. They had a Daytona, yeah. and it was. Gorgeous. Blue with a yellow stripe. Why mm. did Ferrari? I remember because it was run by <coughs> Factory Ferrari. Effectively, didn't run it that season. It was like All American Racing or something was the name of them, and they ran the Ferrari. Ferrari built the car yes. and the engine. So Ferrari in. haven't run for it was a consumer. Years. It, was <laughs> it was still classified well, as a Ferrari. It, no. yeah. the car goes. We won't horse. argue it. It's a prancing horse. Mm. But who comes second? Was the McLaren surely? What for the second the most yeah. second most years in Formula One? Is it McLaren or Williams? Oh, Williams have to be very close. Is Williams or McLaren? Was it s- I'd argue probably. What? Probably McLaren, I would say. When did Bruce start that up? Late sixties, wasn't it? It was late sixties. It was late. No, late sixties. Was it also? Well, I, I just know from Forza Motorsport. I think there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's a three John, speed. Josh's extensive <laughs> sim racing career. Mm. It's very good around We're the road. Going back. Yeah. We're going back. Norse life or GP? Norse life. I hate the Norse life. Except it, it, there's a very low. It's got a very low top end. Um, it maxed out very quickly. Well, it was D- the I could have made a horrible joke. Like there, the thing about the thing about the Norse life is it's quite similar to the new Honda Civic. They just kept designing it and kept adding corners and didn't know when to stop. Well, there used to be a Suge life as well. That used to be a Suge life as well. What's a Suge life? Southern ring life. Oh yeah. Christ! Oh yeah, it divides up. Yeah. yeah, and then it was like the exam life. I was like, no. <laughs> no, you see, even the Norse life, that's probably why you don't like it. No, I don't like it's it. A very, it's, like, it's a very flowy track. It's very good. No, it's not. It is. because you hate rally. You hate driving yeah, tracks that you don't know every millimetre of. You just yeah, can't do it. You can't do it. Rally's stupid. You literally cannot even. 
What's our what's our AOB? Any other business? Hmm. Anything else we want to chat shit about when we're here? We haven't done our proper predictions at all, so oh, we haven't. We do, yeah. Let's let's say let's go from last to first. Last to first. Okay, so we'll start with Luke. On the floor is easy. Well, Tarasso. Done. Next. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Haas. Haas. Yeah, Haas. Mm-hmm. Sauber. Sauber. I was going to say Williams, but no, uh, no. When you, Williams new car is a sharp looking thing. The Paddy Law. If they yeah, didn't have Paddy Lowe, no, Williams I mean, would be in massive trouble right yes, now. Yeah. So you think the Paddy Lowe effect... And they have a lot of money now as well. Paddy Lowe's saved They do, they do have a lot of money, but is that going to be for this year's car or next year's? You, you can see it in this year's car. You can see it in this year's car, yeah. yeah. I think the bottom three is fairly solid. I think now yeah. now is where it gets interesting. Now is now we're in a disputed area. Yeah. I, I mean, think, but the only thing that can mess up the bottom three is Bianchi points. I think yeah. yeah, I think it's going to go... Genuinely, I think it's going to go Williams, Renault, Force India. With Renault being... Cash and Force India at the end of the season. No, but Renault being better than Force India at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah Renault are going to... Like you know, they're gonna gain as the season yeah. goes on a lot. Like. Mm. Williams will stay where they are. Uh, Force India will start the season strong as they always do. Tail off because of money and after spa or so. Yeah. Um, okay. The uh, car and Red Bull. No, I know. I, 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 I think Force India is going to be the bottom of them three. Force India, Williams, uh, no, and, Force and India Renault will be the top of them. Force India will blow Williams out of the water. The only thing which might do Renault is the three engine limit. No, he there's a massive a side. There's massive side. He makes a good point. Yeah. He does the three engines this year. Yeah, and Mercedes yeah. were bulletproof last year. Yeah. Mercedes is the only team that were bulletproof. Yeah, like Ferrari might have that issue too. Although they have put a lot into their reliability. No, with those side pods, those side pods, I, I wouldn't even fit my head in it. I have a big head, but <laughs> <laughs> still, I wouldn't fit my head in it. <laughs> but where do you stand on, on the reliability in Formula 1? Should reliability be sacrificed for speed? I want engines to scream to 30,000 horsepower and blow up straight away. <laughs> 30,000 horsepower. 30,000 <laughs> RPM. 30,000 <laughs> RPM. 30,000 RPS. <laughs> Bring back qualifying engines. <laughs> yes, They'll last for 10 minutes. Well, the thing is, though, right, when they bring out the engine, the engine now right, does three practice sessions, it does qualifying and it does the race, all with the power in excess of what quality engines were putting out in the early 80s. Yeah. Oh, That's I, impressive. I so what could we get now if we... So much what, could, what could we get now if we had quality engines? So what could Mark produce? Could we hit 1,500 horsepower? It depends what capacity you're talking about. Oh. Are you talking about 1.6? I think we well, could do fair, it. Well, we could probably hit 2,000. I'd say 2,000. Yeah, well, no, no, no. 2,000. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, BMW Turbo hit 1,500. Yeah, it hit 1,600. Now, that's a million years ago. But it was 1.5 Turbo in yeah. line 4. And this is a 1.6... Feast with electric running, energy, like, what two, three bar oh. boost? Like it's stupid. Yeah, mm. five, it's five bar. Five bar. Yeah. Five bar. What's that in PSI? Go back to your cave. <laughs> I'll join I you. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does PSI make any sense? Bar makes much more sense. SI. Five bar. It's a very small scale. I know my my alpha used to have sixteen psi. That's all I know, and I knew it was plenty. It's, it's about twelve to twelve forty psi a bar. So it's so off. It's not off topic. We're, We're talking, talking about, about new engines. <laughs> his, his alpha. Just because you are the least mechanically minded man in the world, yeah. and you, between bars and PSI, you might as well be talking about a fucking Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> but like a bar of pressure is an atmosphere, so imagine two atmospheres on you. An atmosphere, okay. Yeah. So it's like a G force. Yeah, like in there, baby. G force of air. Yeah. So imagine two atmospheres battering your head in. I mean, you're painting a pretty picture. So, like, as a human standing on the ground, mm-hmm. one bar of pressure acts on you at all times. It's about, okay. f- about 14 tonne of air. So, two so bars. how do I activate that boost? I don't know. Fart. <laughs> Breathe really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, what, 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 we're making Red friends. Red so, what, what are we? What are we saying? Red Bull or McLaren? Who's it going to be? McLaren. I think it's going to be McLaren. I think it's going to be Red McLaren. Bull. Red Bull. No, Adrian Newey. So we've two for Rebel, two for McLaren. Your news is overrated. McLaren need another year. <laughs> McLaren. What a statement from a. I think Mc- they're gonna nail it. No, no. McLaren will have the most mechanical failures with that engine. No, oh. no. Renault will <laughs> somehow Renault will manage <laughs> with their own engine. <laughs> no, or Rebel. Or Rebel. <laughs> have you seen the side pod in the McLaren from the photo? Yeah, it's, it's very a nice little gorgeous. Suit. It's like a little bow on it. Yeah, it's lovely. It's very. Oh, very where very have you seen these images? Have you not seen the images of McLaren? It's on the on their Facebook group. But, but it's not been released yet. No, no, it's a picture of it being loaded. Illegal, guys. It's like an upskirt image because it's it's like being, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like Marlon Monroe. Yeah. And, and how many upskirt images do you look at on a daily basis? Evan? None. 
Okay. You look, you look at nuns up scared photos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you must I mean, have that camera I'm very low. <laughs> <laughs> like hiding in the servers. <laughs> Hello there, sister. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> you are the it clown. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pennywise. Okay, Ferrari Mark. Oh, a tough one. I'm going to say Ferrari. Mark. I'm really? Gonna stick yeah. with Are you that, no, is that genuine? Not gen- I haven't. Drivers. Sorry. Continue, Luke. He's, go back to the beginning. He just doesn't hear other people. Oh. You can go. Go. Go, Luke. Mercedes to win the constructors and, Fer- and Sebastian to win the drivers. That's how it's going to go. Oh, you're on first name basis with them now, are you? Mm. No, Mercedes mm. will win and Lewis Hamilton will win. I have never been as impressed with a first iteration car as I have been with that Ferrari. It's beautiful. It is. It, is it looks unbelievable. But that it's like a train. It's unreal. But <laughs> but that being said, over the winter when a team has to make massive changes to the car, mm-hmm. it's usually Mercedes is a better starting point. Apparently they've fixed all their diva issues. Apparently, the bad cape has gotten smaller. Actually, surprisingly, it's got a lot smaller. Could be good. It's probably good. Like I mean, they, they know a lot more than we do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. So yeah, I I think what the, f- the Mercedes we saw today is the, the bread and butter version of it. When it arrives in Spain, it's a run and hide car again, though. It, it is run and hide. If it gets in the early air, it's fucked. But we had yeah. the same argument this time last year, and and Mercedes I was right. Got away. Yeah, but we got, yeah, but we've we've Mercedes won. Now and like, there's yeah. gonna be a lot more. No, but Mercedes. Be what what, what Mercedes run up is the bread and butter car. When we arrive, well. When Mercedes arrive, I'm, I'm showing my bias. When Mercedes arrive at the first test or in Melbourne, yeah, the car is going to look like a club sandwich. It's going to have loads of bits everywhere, and and if if those rumours with new engine are true, fuck all those little winglets Ferrari have. It's got There's less winglets than the McLaren or the well, than well, whatever, but like all the aero things Ferrari have. Ferrari will gain half a second in the corners. Merkel will be a second quicker in all the straights. Fair, that's a and we're we're still we're still we're still in an engine. It's still an engine. It's still an engine. Yeah. I don't think anymore. It's no, no. You're really overly confident because the end of the season is always geared towards power circuits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're power circuits strong. If Ferrari gets to Spa with the same advantage they had last year, they can hold out. Yeah. It's game on. Like yeah. But Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton Lewis Hamilton, Hamilton for an exciting year. If, if it wasn't for liability last, last year. year. Vettel would have been a lot closer at the end. Didn't we work Ferrari, that, out, Ferrari, Ferrari we, we worked, we worked it out, and I think Lewis would have won by like a handful of points. Maybe yeah, like that's what I'm saying. They can make a hacking in handful of points or an actual <laughs> handful of points. <laughs> uh, like a good, a good handful of points. <laughs> I, mean, I think more than a handful is a waste. Like, you know. but, but I think <laughs> so. It's, yeah, but it, but you you've oh, you've openly admitted to saying Ferrari have closed some sort of a gap. So if you're saying last year, barring all reliability issues and you know Vettel bashing. Uh, they only I won like by Vettel. a few a few points. Um, this year, you reckon Ferrari should win? But you also you're no. also you saying see. that Red Bull are doing better than Ferrari. So you're saying that Red Bull and McLaren are going to be fighting Mercedes. That's what you're saying. It's going to be a four way fight. They will. I just realised he speaks again. like the fella from Telly Bingo. Look, <laughs> be, before before <laughs> I, before <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> before before any of the um, somebody read exactly. <laughs> before any of the cars got unveiled, I was confident. I just had this good instinct that Mercedes were going to walk the entire you're championship. Such, you're just up for you just had such an end of the, a good end of the season, okay? And that's all you're relying oh, it on. Won Abu Dhabi, like. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis nearly won Abu Dhabi. Just can't overtake in Abu Dhabi. Nearly didn't start the tractor. Again, can of easy that. started. Yeah, Evan <laughs> doesn't know what a can of easy started. Hit the diff and pray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are we going to call the date? Call today. Yeah, See you so. next week, maybe. No, you'll hear from us next week. You'll hear from us, next, hear from us next week. Well, we After won't see you. You definitely won't see us. Thanks for tuning in. Us at all. Uh, good, good luck. luck. See yeah, you later. Bye. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can edit it out. <laughs> that was quite fun. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> can we go again? <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down.